Hey guys, what's up? It's FemGem here, and today I'm going to be bringing you probably, I would say, maybe the best decks in rotation right now for Shadowverse. Um, this is my RuneCraft deck. Um, I call it Forbidden Rune because even though this deck has multiple win conditions, one of the easiest win conditions is for Forbidden um, Dark Mage. But, um, besides that, there's also Carla, obviously, and also there is, um, where is he? There's Carla, and then also, like, there's kind of, um, this is a lesser known, or, like, lesser used version of a wing condition, but he's also kind of a wing condition on himself. But mostly it's just a Carla and forbidden damage for wing conditions. Um, Carla, obviously, half the person's health and then also when his when her union burst activates you can do damage to them that way and then forbidden damage is how many ambulance you've destroyed this turn he gains um attack and when he hits the field you can do it whatever um however many damage you want based on his attack to whoever usually you would do this to the um the opponent You'd get their health pretty low, and then, like, let's say his attack is 8. Usually, you can use it on that to win the game. I'll probably be showing you that. That's pretty much exactly what happened, which was really funny. But, um, starting out, we got the, um, Mugo for creating, um, what's it called? Amulets. If you put an amulet on the field, then play him, he gets the ability where, um... He gains plus one, and then also his last word summons, summons two other Earth Essence or Earth Rites. It's just for board, board removal. Um, this is creating amulets. This is just for searching out cards, which is pretty useful. Um, this is for amulets. Um, this is if you're in a desperate situation and you really need the help back. He's very helpful. We got, um... He's really helpful when you have, like, let's say you have four amulets on your field and no monsters, you can summon him. He destroys all your amulets, and then you get effects based off of what happens, like, off of random. So it's a little bit of a chance, but he's still really good. We got, obviously, um, in the wing condition, uh, Magal Augmentation is for destroying your amulets. You'll do some damage to your enemy, controlling the board, and then also you'll get, um... Forbidden Droplets, or Forbidden Dark Mage. Sorry, I'm playing too much Yu-Gi-Oh. Forbidden Dark Mage is, um, attack up. You got Birch Walker for clearing boards. Like I said before, it's just for searching. Madcap is for mostly clearing boards, but you can draw into stuff, so that's pretty good. Um, Pride Pupil is good mostly just because her Union Burst. I just kind of put it in here. I don't use her too often. Carla, win condition, and then this is just a quick way to clear a board. Basically, and also do Earth Sigil destruction. Basically, you can just deal through damage to enemy, enemy followers, so it's very good. Um, with that being said, I'm probably going to get into... Where is it? Sorry. Replays. This was probably one of the coolest ones I've done. The other one I'm going to show you, I'm pretty sure the other one is the one where I get a pretty good top deck. That's always good to draw that card. It will automatically create an amulet for you, so that's more fodder. I truthfully think that um I should have probably used the verdict ritual on to on the enemy, but um a little bit late now. I guess I made that mistake. 
Luckily, we already drew the Carla, so that's very good. That's why this card's really good. Clear boards, obviously. I've done, like, my hand's pretty good in the sense that I've been also drawing into really good cards. Like, I'm 90% sure that I'm able to get four, um, what's it called? Four amulets onto the field so I can summon, summon um, adamant, adamantite, or whatever its name is, on my sixth turn. Yeah, so if they destroy that, which they did, I was gonna attack him and destroy it myself if they didn't destroy it, but luckily they did. And then you obviously get the adamantite um, effect. Very good. Doing a lot of damage to that, and then I'm also just evolving because why not? Plus, it also helps Carlo the Union Burst. I think my favorite part about his effect is not only the damage that it does to the enemy, but also just creating wards is so useful right now. Keeps you, keeps everybody um at bay. I should have maybe waited for the Union Burst Carla, but whatever. I wouldn't say I really made. A major mistake in this thing, but like I just made nitpicky things that I'm like, you know what, that could have been better if I just did this or did that stuff. So. I think that the top deck. Oh <laughs> uh, no, it's not the top deck. <laughs> but I think that yeah, this top deck. Um, fruit and droplets, amazing. Just you're done. <laughs> And I don't think there's really any way to protect yourself from that. Unless you have cards that say, like, Forbidden Droplets that say you can only take a certain amount of damage this turn. And then this is the second replay I want to show you guys with this deck. Uh, we are obviously facing Swordcraft. I really never really looked into the rotation of Swordcraft, where I'm not really sure what it's like anymore. I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm actually, like, running pretty what's, like, considered kind of old school. I'm not up to date with the new packs and everything, so I'm running kind of an old school build of, like, what I know best. I don't think this hand's been as good as the other one, obviously, but... The it was doing work, you know. Did a job every now and then. So I'm pretty sure this is the one where I get the top deck at the like at the end of the turn. Plus it was the other one, I really don't remember. I'm pretty sure I used the Forbidden Dark Mage for the extra draw this this uh, match or this round. Yeah, there's Bird Rocker. Maybe I don't use Fruit and Dark Mage. I don't know. I think I used the wrong Carlo there, because I think that was the one that had would have had two Union Bursts if I didn't use her, um, deducted from her. So that was my bad. I probably should have never played that card, but I don't know. It was out of instinct. I'm like, I see that card, I'm like, oh wait, I don't need Earth Rights to get its effect anyway, so I should have waited. I 
I don't know what this hand is with like three different wor the worlds. It's really annoying me that I drew that many. I know I run three, but having all of them in your hand is definitely annoying. Oh, well, maybe I did mess up the Union Burst. Taking damage is not really a problem for me right now, because obviously the world. Luckily, he the perfect amount of damage for the world. Right now, I'm really relying on the world for the, um, to stop the damage, but... Okay, that was my top tech. I can't believe I just drew Carla off that. I'm like, all right, this game. So Carla is such a good card. Love it so much. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, that's pretty much it, and then that's the deck profile and everything. And tell me guys what you could think. And if you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.